Hmm, weird. How does this Ferency look? No one ever saw his face. Always huddled up in a huge trench coat and his face hidden. We're all glad to be rid of him. If rid we are. Curse him for messing with our superior Transylvanian broadband. This is all fascinating, but I'm here looking for a girl named Peace. Yes, she was here. She got some supplies and left. For the castle. Is it me or there's a thunderclap every time the castle's mentioned? The castle? I don't hear it. Brody? I've mentioned the castle a lot and I never hear any thunder. Must be my imagination. Then I need to get to the castle. Talk to Luca. He'll probably take you there if there's GPS again. Is the castle abandoned now that Ferenci is apparently gone? Oh no! It's a rightful heir, Vlad, has since returned. Vlad, huh? Indeed! Tell me something about this Vlad. He loves... Yes? To battle! Oh boy. What else can you tell me about the castle? Well, it actually was an old monastery, hundreds of years ago. It somehow got corrupted sometime in the past, and they tore it down. Yes, nothing but the steeple remained, and they built the castle around it. Interesting. Well, thanks for everything, Rodika and Istvan. You're welcome. We're just glad to be able to be our own hospitable selves again. Isn't that right, Isti? It is! And the sooner you get the heck out of our town, region and country, the better for everyone. Enjoy your stay in a beautiful scenic Transylvania. Thanks, I will. So I'll be headed for the castle soon. That's great. Everything in order in your life? You've got the whole last will and testament thing locked down? Oh, Ishti, you'll be fine, Mr. Kerwin. Just know that Vlad is a particular man. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Farewell, and do come back sometime. Not anytime soon, if possible. Hey, Luca, could you take me to the castle? To be honest, I'd rather not. But what the heck? You're my friend now. Meet me outside when you're ready. See you later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. Well, Kitty, I guess it's off to the castle. Yep. Vlad's castle. Let's do it. So you were apprehensive around the town folk, but a guy called Vlad in a dark castle on a craggy hill that's actually a desecrated monastery just gets a, uh, sure, let's do this? Don't take this personally, Buzz, but the fewer humans, the better. Well, maybe except Luca. He seems marginally better. Good guy, Luca. group of fierce, intimidating masks are blocking our way to the castle. Walk no further. Turn away and leave. Nice evening, huh? Turn around. Leave. 
That was a little rude of you. Hi, it's imperative that I make it to the castle. We are under strict orders not to let anyone through. Turn around, leave, do not return. Strict orders from who? From he who rightfully owns the place. Turn around, leave. Come on, I really need to get through. Not without word from the master. He's expecting me. No one is expected. We know nothing of you. Leave and do not return. I need to talk to Vlad right away. Truly, you mock us. Leave! I think I'll return to town. Bye. I say you let us through. Do my eyes and ears deceive me? It... it spoke! Yes, it did, and it wants to get to the castle, so step off, clowns! Let us not be hasty here. But it's just like in the tale! It is not just like in the tale. I only see one talking cat. Must be just clever trickery. It's not. She can actually speak. Silence, deceiver! But... It is not just like in the tale. It is some kind of trick. Be gone! Hey, Maria. Here's an idea. Why don't I walk in the mountains for you? I'm headed that way. I don't know about that. <sighs> look, I normally would tell you never to give your pet away to a stranger, but... Look, I'm on a magical quest, and I need Kiskis' help. What do you say? I'll bring him right back. Hmm... I would say no, but... You do have a magical talking cat, and you don't seem like a bad person. I guess I can make one exception. I would not ask if it wasn't super important, and Kiskis will enjoy the mountain air. All right, bye bye. Hold on right there. I may be young, but I'm not dumb. I hold on your passport until you bring my kitty back. Thank you. You're all right, kid. Come on, Buzz, fork it over. Okay, everyone know their roles, right? Yeah, I'll do my best. I say you let us through. Whoever you are, be... Be gone with your trickery! Who I am? I am Miwara, and this is my trusty sheepdog, Azor. <coughs> now step aside and let... us... through. It is them! It is them! You have returned! You truly have returned! Forgiveness! Forgiveness! I had no way of knowing! You are forgiven. Your path to the castle is open any time. Here he is, as promised, safe and sound. Yay! Did he help you on your magical journey? Him and Kitty defeated an army of scary masked people all by themselves. Wow, really? How did they do that? Well, we're cats, so we did what we do best. We outsmarted them. And I think I have the perfect name for your kitty. How's Azor sound? OMG, it's perfect! Azor! 
Excellent. Well, we must be on our way. Thanks for all your help, Maria and Azor. Take care, Buzz and Kitty. I love you, buddy, but you are one confused feline. Alright, I'll admit it. My knees are trembling just a tad. It's a long way down to the bottom. Funny thing, the closer we got to the castle, the redder the sky became. I wonder if it's some kind of local weather phenomenon or... Uh, let's stick with the weather theory. A very conspicuous pile of rocks right next to the gate. A pretty standard model as gargoyles go. Man, Steve the gargoyle over at the library is way creepier than this one. Aha! The key to the gate was hidden under one of these rocks. Who but Buzz Kerwin could defeat such a display of excellence and security? Get over yourself and let's just get in. See, Kitty? Solved the problem, kept you safe. Yeah, yeah, this damsel in potential distress is overflowing with gratefulness. Let's move. This place is plastered with depictions of what I can only assume are ancient Romanian rulers. What is it with this movie and rappers? Seriously? What, what, what is the fascination here? It's I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a DJ bald beard? I don't know. That is the ruler of the castle. He has a very, um, urban vibe around him. The entire place is lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. That's a very, very familiar looking guy. Not the same as the one in Foto Maris, but still, where do I know him from? Some kind of family crest, maybe? Cool dragon design on it. Man, if I ever get a family crest, dragon it is. He's ignoring me. He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. I'm pretty much convinced I need to get myself in there. Uh, uh, uh. No one walks further into the castle unless... Unless what? Chill, I was getting to that. Unless they defeat Vlad in battle. Oh, man.
He's ignoring me. He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit-chat. A very gothic looking chest. Nice. As shoddy as it looks, there's a lock here. Looks like I could take it down easily with the right tool. Yay! Unlocked! Let's see what's inside here. Some vinyls? And a gauntlet? Ooh, I like gauntlets. There's that cool dragon design on these banners, too. Sight. That's the old monastery's bell tower surrounded by the castle on all sides. Awesome. First, I need to get inside the castle. No time for movie watching now. I formally challenge you to battle, Vlad. Telling all contenders all the time First of all, you gotta have a throne Before you go for mine You just need my cellar for replacement Ever since back in the days When your mama kicked you off the basement What's with the cornrows, dog? I don't think they really fit ya I'll bet if you would lose them You'd be a beautiful creature that's just wrong. 